Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Sick Tricks. And somebody sent me this file. And if I understand them right, they're going to do this with a CNC router. And their CNC router bit can't get in these tight corners. So they was wondering if they could do it easier than one at a time. And there surely is. And why they were trying to do it was trying to right click on that and turn it into a curve and then individually curve them. Well, that would take forever and they wouldn't all be the same. And she has Corel X5 or she, they, I'm going to quit saying gender because I don't ever read who sent it. I just uh, start working on the file. But, and I'm sure X5 has this. I, I started with X3 and I haven't used that in a long time and I'm not going to really look back, but under your dockers, there should be corners. And right here, you've got all the nodes selected and you can fillet it or round it over. And I'm going to call a 0 0.02 radius and hit apply. Let's zoom in here so you can get a better look. And it's actually showing you what it's going to look like before you actually do it. It's showing you with a light blue line, the radius. So dependent, so then I'm going to hit apply and it's going to do it. So depending on your router bit, and this would help a laser person too, uh, just have less sharp corners. Now I'm looking back and it didn't do that chin, but it may be because it's so little. But if we, let's go 0 0.03 this time. And it says some of the edges were too short to fillet. So if you needed like that edge and this edge, then you most definitely could right click and turn it into a smooth and then edit, you, edit yourself with um, any way you wanted to until you got it right. I actually don't like the smooth. I actually like the cusp because then you only do one at a time. And you can make that thing a little less square. And like right here, just for instance, there, there's a double node here. Maybe you can take one of those away. Maybe, maybe leave it in there and it would give you less of a radius. But that's how I would do all the rest of them. You just have to look through here like that one right there. And that's what Corel's talking about. It's a little messed up. Let's back up here. Let's see if there's something wrong with that. There's something wrong with this right here. So let's try this. Go to your shape tool and let's try this. Let's go to Dockers, Join Curves, select all that and hit Apply. Nope. There's something wrong with that line. So let's figure it out real quick. Let's go uh, right click break it apart. There's the problem right there. That one is cut so sharp. When I say that's a problem, there's two nodes right there. Just delete one. Whoop. Nope, there's not two nodes there. I don't know what's causing that. Oh, it was turned around backwards. Maybe she, they had played with that before. So then I would definitely join these two and become one. Now let's see if it will actually work on that one. Let's get rid of this window. Zoom back in. Grab it all with the pick tool. And hit apply. There's still some objects that are too sharp, but it did that toe. So make sure that toe is not messed up before you do it. And you'll just have to figure out what size bit it'll make corners because it's doing the outside and the inside. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. And thank you for watching.